You're losing control of this. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said. When your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. Garrod was only defending himself. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the lord of this house. Your men attacked and drew first blood. They murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know Up he's your here. fucking ass. What have you done with him? We haven't seen him. He was never here. You little liar. I will find him. By the gods, you better hope I do. Fuck what I, I, I don't fucking hear what I remember. you responsible. And fuck you'll answer for what he's Fuck what he'll remember. I don't give I'm a not shit. Leaving. Until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house a of honorable men. In a house you're not supposed to be in. Not Lady the girl here. Yeah. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this. This is not over. It's Cut. over when my son says it is. This is over, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be Lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven, letting him know a Forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. We're in the right, Lord Whitehill. Remember that. He will? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I don't care what he fucking sh thinks. Bitch. Your son did well, my lady. He kept his wits while Lord Whitehill lost his temper. A lesser man would have been rattled, but Ethan here. I would fucking ground. fucking. You were brave, my son. Uppercut his face and shit. Braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. But since we they have swords, mirror in King's Land I would be a once. pussy like like uh, any other person. Or I'll just grab a sword and fucking stab him in the face. Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. I'm the girl? What the fuck? Oh shit. Oh, uh, what is it here? Hmm. What do we have here? Look. I don't, I don't want to look at anything. Read. Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come. Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Who's that from? Fucking, my fucking shit is like all messed up.
Why do I have to look at everything? Seriously. Are you kidding me? I have to look at every single- I can't, like, pick She's up landing. or take? I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. <coughs> it troubles me to even ask this of you. But you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope. And can be a powerful ally. Especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Hold on. Alrighty. Who is it? Like you don't One not moment. you don't like say who it is or anything? Stab in the oh, face. Oh, sorry, my lady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. Um. No, it's fine. Come in. Go away, bitch. <laughs> what well, is he? Begging either. your pardon, my lady, but you're all right. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm just worried about my family. Ah, better from home, is it? You notice you're That's honest. Kind of, you to ask. of course, my lady. You've always been kind to me. He's not even putting in Please anything hurry in if there. You can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. It is widely known. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. Now get. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but it was definitely an argument. I... I heard them arguing about House Forrester. House Forrester? I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. Oh shit. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Oh, Come, shit. there's something we must discuss. She's... Even though she's like a cartoony character, like, or, you know, she's still pretty hot. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. She just glitched. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the north whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. What does she intend to do? She intends to make you miserable, knowing that will make me miserable as well. 
She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. Find a way to appease her. Humor her. Oh, I Tell pressed her something, so... I don't know why it's made me silent. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. <laughs> You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Oh shit, I'm nervous. I don't know I don't know what the not not to say. Good luck. Oh shit. Well, we'll pick this up. Actually, we'll pick this up in the next video. So, hope you guys like this video. If you guys like it, make sure you smash that th thumbs up. Subscribe. And, well, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. <laughs>